All right, this is our last stop here at the Umarex booth, and uh, we're going to take a look at the gauntlet. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Mr. Brooks, we've got the gauntlet. We, we started shipping this in the fall of last year. Uh, it was an immediate hit. Uh, people were impressed. The fact that they could get a repeatable, re uh, regulated shot after shot after shot performance with this gun. and. Easy to use operation is, is super simple on this gun, and the accuracy is, is unbelievable as well. I, I shot this on Monday as well. I couldn't miss. Uh, it, it was pretty impressive. Actually, <clears throat> the um, I didn't even notice the trigger. Yeah. In other words, a lot of times it's hard to pull or it's I, yeah. that wasn't a factor. Yeah. The only thing that was a factor was the bolt was kind of stiff. Yeah, it, uh, there is a pretty good spring that's on the bolt itself there. Even if you don't like a single stage trigger like this one has in it, you can overcome it. I like to tell people I couldn't shoot my way out of a wet paper sack with a rifle. Uh, I've just never impressed myself with my own shooting abilities. But the first time I shot this gun, I, I was like, wait a second, did I just put stack pellet on top of pellet? Yeah. Now this is, um, the regulator on this is in the bottle as I understand That's it. correct, yeah, it's a regulated bottle. Uh, so foster type fitting there, uh, fill the bottle up to 3,000 pounds. Uh, you don't have to take the bottle off. No, you don't have to take the bottle off to fill. Uh, so it's super easy, just leave it on the gun, uh, fill it up, watch your, your pressure regulator on your tank, watch your pressure regulator on uh, the bottle, get up to 3,000 pounds, you're ready to go, disconnect everything properly. And that regulator, um, if I'm not mistaken, puts up about 1150 psi. Yeah, it's, to the it's a, a variance of around 1150 P psi. Yes, sir. It, it, and is that user adjustable or? Um, I, I suppose it, a tinkerer could. It can. A tinkerer and, and tinkerers have been. Uh, this tank has been on the market in the in the paintball industry for a while, so people have, have tuned those uh, for sure. And um, the, I understand this magazine interchangeable with the Benjamin Marauder? Yeah, it's, it's the same design on the magazine. So if you've already got those magazines, you can use those with the gun. Um, of course, we've got our own there that go with it too. They work fantastic, super easy to use, very easy to use magazines. Yeah, shrouded barrel is has a suppressor in there. So, you know, it's already gonna be a quiet gun, but it's even quieter with the suppressor that's on it, yes. All, all I heard was the trigger drop. When, yes. when I was shooting it the other Yeah, that's day. the only noise you're really going to hear with it. How did this come about? It came about by the need, you know, the popularity of, of pre-charged pneumatics. Uh, you know, uh, the spring power guns take a learning curve in order to shoot with accuracy. Uh, I've never mastered that. Like I said, I couldn't shoot my way out of a wet paper sack. But with a pre-charged pneumatic, you don't deal with that vibration of a springer. You just get a trigger pull and the pellet goes where you have the gun pointed. Um, and with did, did Umarex have a say in the design of this? Or? Yes, yeah, we, uh, we worked hand in hand with the engineers designing this to, to what we wanted. We took a, a bedrock that, that already existed and we improved on it. Uh, we get, you know, got a bolt hold back position uh, for makes not loading your magazine super easy. Uh, operation is, is super intuitive, it, you know, once you just say, okay, fill here, disconnect here, load your magazine, put it here. You're ready to go. Anybody can shoot this gun and shoot it accurately. Now, some of the other new Chinese pre-charged guns, the inexpensive ones, uh, are going to be rebranded to several brands. Yes. Is this exclusive to Umarex? This is exclusive to Umarex. Yeah, this is the only one that's like it out there. And I suppose one of the uh, appeal, part of the appeal is the price. Absolutely. Uh, 299 MSRP for both the 17722, and we're happy to announce that we're going to be releasing the 25 caliber version of this gun this summer. So around July, we should have that ready to go. Well, I shot it. I was impressed. I've spent a lot more money on guns and yeah. and didn't get as much. And that's the thing, you know, for for 300 dollars, you can get into a PCP air gun that. You know, previously would have been five, six, seven hundred, even more than that in some cases, and you're still 
need a tank to fill from or a pump system. Uh, with that, you've got some room to work there on that. I, I guess that's it because <clears throat> uh, not to downgrade the Springers, but a, a nice Springer can cost you, you know, three hundred dollars easily sure. or more. Yeah. So uh, I think this is a good alternative, and I, I have some friends who have pest problems. Yes. They can't hit anything with their Springers, and they're looking for a better solution. And I, and I think something like this that's correct. Yeah, this is perfect for for me. This is what I would I would gravitate to. Okay. Very good. Well, Mark, I appreciate you taking the time and giving us a tour of the new Umarex products. You're very welcome, Mr. Brooks. It's a pleasure. Yeah.